Just before 1 o'clock in the morning out east, and we have a big call to make NBC News project that John Fetterman will prevail in that hotly contested Pennsylvania Senate race. This is such a big deal because, first of all, this was Pat Toomey's seat, of course, but John Fetterman had so much difficulty because of the health issue. Mehmet Oz, so well-funded. I think this is another case where, as, as Chuck was pointing out earlier, the Trump coming in at the end in that final weekend for Dr. Oz really had to hurt him because Pennsylvanians really reacted against Mastriano, the Trump choice for the governor's race. And they don't like extreme candidates. Pennsylvania has been a tough win in the past. You know, Hillary Clinton lost it. Donald Trump won it. John Fetterman did better than Trump did with the non-college educated voters in, in the, rather than in, he did better than Biden did and worse than Trump is the point. Well, mm -hmm. nobody with this low of an approval rating as a sitting president has ever done this well in a midterm in the modern era. And the, the Republicans have to look in the mirror. And if they don't sit here and look at Trump, and they may be afraid to pick this fight, but there's no doubt. There's, this is now the fact Biden's sitting at 45%. The economy is where it was. You read that yeah. stat. This shouldn't be competitive, and it is. And I think you have one place to look. We, we, should, we should also notice uh, Fetterman, I think a lot of people, when they watched his performance in that debate, were very Just concerned. Uh, both of you have seen him since. Uh, his condition has well, improved. The last 10 days, he's really been campaigning aggressively and performing a lot better. And that may have made a difference. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.